there, Angela, Tamu order, there. Is this a good uh, thumbnail right here? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready now. I blew my nose. I drank a drink. I cleared my throat. Now I'm ready. <clears throat> All right, I've been drinking my water. I still hate it. I should put this in it. Does it count water if you put, you know, some of the water drops in there? Will it still count as water? I think it will. Because, like, what if you drank the water and then you just had some drops that you put in your mouth and it got mixed up in your stomach? And then how does your stomach know to separate everything? That's what I say about all of it. If I drink a Diet Coke and then the water is going to be separated out, going into the area that the water goes into, and then the salt. Oh, there's no solid in it, though. I just think our stomach doesn't know what we put in there and it mixes all up and then it gets digested. So it doesn't matter. The liquid will be there. I got to ask a nutritionist because I just don't know what happens. All right, I got my team order. I'll put my water down because it really shows up there. Okay, what else shows up? This, <laughs> this is my pop. I'm drinking them both. All right, I have to drink both of those before the day is over. Okay, I'm doing good with, I'm dieting with, uh, I forgot her name, Mimi's Life. Is that it? I'm dieting with her because we're both drinking the Stanley water and eating healthy. I made for dinner tonight, I made, I have a big bag of romaine lettuce and I already cooked the chicken in teriyaki and browned it and made it yummy seasoned. And then I boiled hard boiled eggs for my protein and the chicken, and then I'm gonna make a big salad. So Jamie will like it too, cause he wants to lose some weight too, his belly, but his metabolism is so slow. I don't know, it's gonna be harder for him. Wait, my metabolism I think is very slow too, cause we're old. Okay, here we go. I'm excited. All right, this Timu haul is going to be called <clears throat> stuff I needed, okay? I gotta write that down because I'll forget by the time I get to upload this or download stuff I needed. Okay, got it written down. I gotta write down everything. And I'm like, what was that? I can't remember. I have two things, two calls to make. I gotta call our insurance company and get the insurance on the RV for our trip because I pause it during the sun, uh, winter because we're not using it. It's paid for, I don't have to have insurance when it's just parked there. It's not gonna get hurt, so I didn't. But now I gotta call and start that up. I better write that down too. I got one of this one time at the Dollar Tree. And so I write, oh, not with this pen. I have to use this one. I write on here uh, things to do, insurance, because I got to call and hook that up again. And then my uh, prescription, my dentist, not my dentist, <laughs> my doctor went on spring break too. But my pill expired, my high blood pressure pill, and I need to renew it. And the pharmacy said, he hasn't got back to us yet. So I said, will it help if I call? Yes, it will, probably. I think I have one pill left, and then I'm going to die because I won't have it. You won't die. My sister, the nurse, said, if you miss one pill, you know, your medications one day, they have a shelf life in your body. I don't know what it's called. So then when you take it the next day, you're fine. You won't die. Stuff I needed, except this isn't really what I needed. But I'm hoping this will be for Jamie. Four oh five, four dollars and five cents. Four zero five. I paid for it. Now uh, you know my anguish about Jamie. I want him to look really nice when we go places. So I buy him clothes and make him look good. The advantage of going on trips, I pack for him. He doesn't know what shirts he's going to wear. So I got this shirt for him. I don't know if it'll fit. I think it will. I'll measure it to his other ones. Doesn't it look like a vacation shirt? It does, with his black pants, new ones I got him, his black shoes, 
He has black suspenders. I'm not even gonna tell him about it. I'm just gonna pack it. And then when I say here, here's your outfit for today. So stuff I needed, I needed that, he needs it. He does have a lot of vacation shirts he's not supposed to wear. But here's, <laughs> I had that story. All right, we, I told you how we go out to Oregon twice a year for the last 29 years. So that's how many times we've been out there. Well, I always have his vacation clothes and I would hide them and put them like his two pair of good jeans and his shirts. And I hide them in a different place. He doesn't know where they are. Otherwise, he will just pick them and wear them. And then he'll ruin them on barbed wire and stuff immediately. So I hide them so we don't have to buy new clothes every time we go on a trip. So um, here he has this one shirt and I loved it. It was like a Ralph Lauren. It was expensive, nice shirt, cotton, button up. He always has to have button up because his shoulder went out of joint one time and it broke. And so he can't put his hand over his head like this. He can't do it or it'll go out of joint again. He should have had the surgery, but he never did. All right. So Every time we go on a trip, he would wear this. It was a Ralph Lauren, and it was yellow and blue, kind of striped. It was so cute. The problem is, that was his vacation shirt. So every time we went there, he's wearing that same shirt. He didn't wear it the rest of the year, just every time we went to Oregon. And it lasted for about 15 years. <laughs> And then my mom goes, doesn't Jamie have any other clothes than that shirt? It's sure lasting a long time. It never occurred to me that that's what people would think. Oh, yeah, he just has one vacation shirt. So I don't do that anymore. Anyway, that shirt finally wore out. All right, what did I need next? Let me see. All right, here's some more rocks for Jackson. And I paid $1.34 because I always, I'm not going to just pay a dollar for one rock. He's going to get the bundle. And these are some kind of agates and some kind of rocks. $1.35, $1.34. And I'm lucky because Hillary, my daughter, is going to Emily's, her sister's, tomorrow on Rock Springs. So they can take all the presents, the pajamas and everything I bought for them. Okay, what else did I need? Cool, huh? We got a saw, we got a three, four different, five blades, one, two, three, four, five blades, the screwdriver thing, and it was only $2.73. Now that is a steal. Why did I need it? I don't know, but I don't have one. Now I think it's going to be good because like, if Jamie has a limb he needs to saw off, I'll say, I have a saw for it. And so when we go camping up to the hunting camp, we don't hunt anymore though, we will take this in the RV and then if we need to saw kindling or something, if I'm doing a craft, anyway, I needed that because I never had one before. Now this is, I bought these. And they were three, $3.31. How many are in here? 20. I needed this. You know why? For the grandkids. They're supposed to be stretchy guys. And I got them for Trevor's classroom. I don't know. They don't stay stretched. Why would this be a thrill for a kid? Anyway, I'll give them to Trevor for his. But I'm going to keep a couple out to give to Jackson. And the other two, and a couple extra in case one breaks. And you see, I'm quite organized. Well, I was until I lost it. That's not it. I have a bag down here. Is this it? Yes. I have a bag, it says Trevor. So for Trevor, I put all of the things for his school classroom in here so then when i see him i will give it to him and say here for your classroom because i can't resist a goodbye this is isn't this the most cute thing you've ever seen for three dollars and 31 cents now you know when you have a product that you have to have ketchup 
or soy sauce or dipping sauce of some kind. There's two, four, six of these. Has a little holder. I can put it on the buffet when we have the thing and they can fill their little cheese sauce, salsa, whatever. $3, isn't that darling? You've all have got to get one. I might order another one to have two for when we have the big crowds. But when the grandkids, little Credence loves his salsa with his chips. And when you pour it on the plate, they pour too much and then it wastes it. So these are gonna be perfect. I needed that. What else did I need? This, $5.24. Luckily, it's not a gift that I need to wrap it in this box that's all jacked. I need to be down a little maybe so you can see my table. Okay, here it is. I loved this. Look it, it'll store in the cupboard. All right, all right. Now, what will we put in these cups? Your soup, not a very big soup. My sack fell. You won't have, well, you won't get to be very hungry because these are kind of small. And then here's the pitcher to pour in. Soup, I never poured soup. I wonder what you're supposed to pour in it. But I loved it. I'm using them. And look how they just stack. This would be great for the RV because it's all in one if you need the pitcher or you need the cereal cups or whatever. I needed that. I didn't have it. Okay. This. This was $2.78. What do you think it is? Yes. For kneeling on the cement. For the gardening. Jamie has them. He always takes them up to the ranch to use up there. I'm going to leave this plastic on it. Because look, it's white. Why'd they send me white? Why don't they send me green or brown? I'm going to leave the plastic on it so it'll keep the white. And then just use it out here. I'm even going to write on this. For home. Stay home. Because that means do not take it to the ranch. For home. And then I will tell him. You see this? That means do not take it to the ranch. Use your own up there. The sack fell. And of course, everything fell out of it. And then I always miss it. I, I finish. And then I go, oh, here's some stuff that fell out I forgot. To go along with that... Everybody told me after they watched me do the planting to get this. They were $2.27. The knee pads, Velcro knee pads. Now these are going to come in handy. Even when I mop the floor, I got black because Jamie might want to use them too. And I don't think he wants to have pink. Although I do think I ordered a pink pair, but that will be for later. But Jamie is very comfortable in his sexuality. He doesn't care about colors. That's what my daughter, when I'll tell you the story. One time when Emily was a senior in high school, or a junior maybe, anyway, she was a cheerleader. And all her group of cheerleaders, they all went to our same church and they were all the friends and everything. And they were very close. Well, they would come over to our house and we had this barrel chair and Emily would sit in it and her friend would come and sit right on her and they would put their arms around each other and acting like that. And I'm like, after they left, I said, Emily, that's kind of like lesbian doing being so close to your girlfriends. I never did that with my girlfriends. Anyway, she goes, mother, we are very insecure in our sexuality. I said, oh, okay, sorry. Anyway, not, I don't have anything against lesbians. I have two granddaughters lesbians. I have a niece that's a lesbian, you know. I love them still. But anyway, when your daughter turns out to be a lesbian, you kind of are sad because you want them to get married and have babies, grandkids for you. Although my niece did have a baby. She went and found the specimen, right specimen she needed from the bank. There's a bank for that. And she has a darling little girl. But then you feel sorry for the little girl. She doesn't know who her. Never mind. I'm not going to talk about it. All right. This was $1.34. Guess what it is? I bought one for Christmas for everybody. But I never bought one for myself. 
is the rule of you never point a slingshot at anybody like a gun. You're not supposed to point it at anybody. Does the slingshot have that same rule? Hey, I could keep these from Jackson and use them. I bought pellets for somebody, but this, I'm going to practice. I'm going to get really good at it because, you know, it might be hereditary. I'm going to tell you a story about my dad. He was perfect at this. He was a, he could have won the, the championship if there was, was one for slingshot shooting. I think it was his ear. He was born in uh, 1935. No, 1934. And back then, they made their own, you know, and they that, they lived it. Those little boys lived it with him and his brothers. Flew kites, and they did this, shooting. And this is real plastic wood, and it's real rubber band, and this is real faux leather. It's very nicely made for that price. All right, so my dad. He, there was a dog next door that barked constantly. And then they, you know, why can't owners hear their own dogs barking? And my dad's trying to sleep. He's a light sleeper. So he trained that dog. <laughs> Not going to say any more, dog lovers. But the dog stopped barking then in the mornings. He didn't do it anymore. So I'm sure it, it didn't penetrate the skin or anything. But dogs need to be trained. They do have those whistles nowadays that you could blow, like the neighbor's dog's barking and you blow that top whistle. I wanted to try that, but right now we don't have any barking neighbor dogs. Thank heavens, because um, it's so annoying. I'm sure they bark because when the owner leaves. This camera's crooked. I hope it YouTube straightens me out when it publishes. All right, this was $4.04. I'll tell you the story. When my children were all growing up, six of them, of course, I didn't have six all at once, but it seemed like you had a birthday all the time. Decorating for another birthday. Decorating for another birthday. Buy the crepe paper. Buy the... Uh, I was just so sick of it. So... At the fabric store one time, they had this fabric printed up, happy birthday. And it was supposed to be a cape. And then, the, I just think it was a cape that you wore. Well, I bought enough of it that I made one into a birthday banner. And I lined it and made it really nice. And so every birthday, I hung the birthday banner and then pinned balloons in the corners. And then I had the cape. And when they were little, they got to wear the birthday cape. And then it was just exciting. When they got lay a little older, like 12, they didn't want to wear the cape anymore. But I made them just for the picture. Come on. Okay. That was the best, smartest thing I ever did because I never had to buy streamers and all the decorations and they loved the birthday banner then i took a picture close up of the birthday banner and i made them into prints picture prints and so when they lived they didn't live with me anymore i would send them a picture in their christmas i mean in their birthday card the birthday banner to them so i didn't want them to forget well and i bought emily and hillary both the birthday banner one time probably from wish this was $4.04 because .04, I'm going to have this now to go with my birthday banner. A happy birthday table runner. And they had different lengths you could get. So I got this length. I don't know what it is, 72 inches or something. So now I can hang the birthday banner and put out the birthday. And it's like a tradition. I know when I die, they're all going to fight over the birthday banner. Who gets it? So that was a memory for us. All right, I needed this because Jamie. Have I told you about Jamie? I probably told you. You might have missed it. This was $3.49. Real plastic metal. No, I think it really, it is metal for $3. All right, my husband has COPD. He manufactures a lot of sinus drippage, post-nasal drip. And he found out that tissues, little tissues are not enough for him. 
especially in the morning. He needs an industrial tissue. So he buys the napkins, dinner napkins. So they're laying everywhere. So I know I have one up at the tree house that has a weight on it that holds your napkins in there. I'm not going to bring that home to use. So I got this so that he could put his napkins in there and it will be nice and not just in the, he cuts the plastic out around him. So then it's just this, it doesn't look very good. I want it to look pretty. So I got him that. Okay, next, something I needed. All right. I have the flat top stove. Now, I'm sure that you all do too. Oh, this was $3.28. And I bought one, a blue one, to when I bought my old stove. But it the position of the scratcher is right where you push that makes the blade come out. It's the most annoying thing. Well, so, but it had an edge on it that was perfect for it, but I know how to do it now and hold it. You have to hold it at the right angle, not, you have to. So I bought me a new one because I hate that other one. And look at it, it came with razor, one-sided razors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten extra razors. Thank you, Team Moo. I'm on your team. Okay, so this stuff goes downstairs. I'm gonna take that all down there. I needed that, right? Okay, I don't need this. Should have saved it to put my stuff I'm gonna carry downstairs. All right, I hope it's not broken. All right, I'm gonna show you something. It's, it's horrible. It was just horrible. See my nice mirror I got from Temu, and I even glued the diamonds around it and everything. But guess what happened the other day? Seven years bad luck. No, I'm not going to get seven years bad luck. Why? Because I bought another one. And I'm just going to, you know, like exchange it. And the gods of God will not know that I broke that one. Because it's going to reappear perfect. Who made that up? You get bad luck. I don't believe it. So, have you bought one of these before? They're not deluxe. They're not like your most beautiful mirror that you would love to have had sterling silver that you inherited from your grandmother. I didn't get to, so I bought my own. I'm not going to sew rhinestones on it this time, though. You know why? Because they come off. Although, if I did take them off, they would be the same size. No, it did, they didn't show up that much. But I'm going to use this stand because I glued it together. No, I didn't break my mirror. So don't give me seven years of bad luck. I don't believe in it anyway. But guess what I was thinking what I could do with this one? I could put a picture back here. Now, I'm kind of frightened to take this off. It's going to break it and cut myself and pop in. Oh wait, I have safety glasses on. All right. And I wanted to reuse this and recycle it, but I'm kind of scared to hurt myself. I just want to break this side out. I'm gonna have Jamie do it. And then I'm gonna put a picture in here and I could put this in my library of a beautiful picture of Jamie and I or something. I'm going to do it because I hate to throw things away that could still be good. Recycle. Could be a picture frame. It doesn't have to be a mirror, right? All right. What else did I buy? Now, these are duplicates of what I needed. Sorry. It's a rerun. It's going to be a rerun. And don't be mad. I'm not doing Jamie's. 257. I'm redoing Jamie's closet. I'm going to color code long sleeve shirts. Work shirts, vacation shirts, Sunday clothes. I'm going to redo his closet. I wish if they came Garanimals, you could buy the Garanimals tags for him because he doesn't know. But I'm hoping if I rearrange it like that, then he could keep track of, you know. Long, he says, I can't find any long sleeve shirts. Oh, they're all there. He just doesn't look. 
and this was like 90 cents. I'm taking it to the RV because then I don't have to take my stuff out there that I use every day. Then when we come home, I don't have anything to unpack if I have doubles, you know, double shampoo, double deodorant, double everything. And same with these. I know, I already bought four, three other pair. It's gonna go in the RV, this stuff right here. So that's my RV pile. Okay. All right. I think that's everything now. I'm so lucky to have all of this. And I could tell you about it in 25 minutes and 38 seconds. I don't know if that's good they let you know how long you talked or not. It's kind of embarrassing, maybe. Anyway, I'm going to go have my salad and make Jamie's salad with our hard-boiled eggs and chicken. I probably have some celery and... We have good diet, skinny girl dressing. And so that's going to be our dinner for tonight. Because, all right, I'm filming this at, can you see this? No, you can't. The clock. It's 5.39 that I'm filming it. So um, um, we're going to eat dinner. And then tomorrow, I got to make my phone calls. Tomorrow, Jamie has to call his doctor about his... Remember, he took the sleep test, oxygen sleep test. We never have heard back because our doctor was out of town. They need a vacation too, I know. But I told Jamie, I don't want you to get that before vacation because it, CPAP doesn't have to plug in, have electricity and stuff. And we're gonna be in the RV and everything. No, you just wait for wait till we get back. You've, you've lived this long, you could live a little longer. Plus we're going down to sea level. He can breathe better at sea level than way up here. We are over 6,000 you know, feet in the air here. So when we're at sea level, he can breathe better. So maybe that will help him. No, he still won't move there, so don't worry. Okay, so subscribe so I can keep doing this. Okay, I'm going to push the button. The button is going to be pushed.